Hello everyone, I am Dibendu Das from George Mason University. I am honored to present our paper on motion memory leveraging past experiences to accelerate future motion planning. Traditionally, robots have excelled in well structured industrial settings where they repeatedly execute predetermined plans with remarkable precision and efficiency. However, in recent times, there has been a surge in the deployment of robots in more open and dynamic environments where they participate in a range of daily activities. In these scenarios, robots are expected to adapt to ever changing surroundings, navigate through unpredictable elements and interact with various objects and people. To operate effectively in such open environments, robots must continuously gather information about their surroundings and plan their trajectories from scratch, which can be both co computationally intensive and time consuming. What will be the scenario if the environments are semi-structured with some similarities between them? We can think of two examples such as a robot working exclusively in a canteen to wipe tables or a robot responsible for delivering packages within a single floor of a building. Motion planning is the process of determining a feasible path for a robot to follow in order to transition from an initial stage to a desired goal state, while avoiding obstacles and adhering to specific constraints. There are several classical motion planning techniques that have been developed over the years, as well as more recent learning-based motion planning approaches that integrate machine learning algorithms. Some of the most well-known classical motion planners are RRT, PRM, RRT star, Inform RRT star, etc. Learning-based motion planners, on the other hand, merge machine learning algorithms with traditional motion planning techniques to enable robots and other autonomous agents to plan their movement in complex environments. One of the major drawbacks of existing motion planners is their inability to adapt to new environments effectively. While facing a new environment, these motion planners often start planning from scratch, even if the environment is similar to previous environments. Also, ensuring safety during the learning process remains a significant concern. Our primary objective is to overcome the limitation of traditional motion planners in order to significantly enhance their efficiency. First, we will develop machine learning techniques to identify, memorize, and retrieve the past planning experiences. By leveraging these past experiences, we aim to minimize the need for time-consuming and resource-intensive replanning from scratch. Then we will modify the existing motion planners to utilize the previous motion plans to improve and accelerate future motion planning efforts. To leverage past planning experiences, we need to utilize the existing real-world deployment experience to train our model. But, but as we don't have the access to such real-world deployment data, we have manually created a data set to represent such experience. We have generated three different types of environments for our experiments, curves, random, and trap. The colored pixels here represent obstacles in the environment, while the white pixels represent free space. There are 100 different paths for the same start and goal position and 1500 non colliding environments for each path. Our methodology consists of three steps, data augmentation, generating environments with hallucination and utilizing representation learning to learn a latent space. Now we will talk about data augmentation. Each member of the original pairwise motion planning problem solution data set can be augmented from DI to DI star where MI is the number of total generated planning problems for solution I, S is the AC space, and PI is the optimal motion plan, plan for environment DI. Thus, the original dataset D is augmented to capital D star in which each past planning solution PI is no longer only paired with one original planning problem SI, but a set of MI planning problems for which PI is optimal. Such an augmented dataset is used to learn an efficient latent representation space. Specifically, we adapt a triplet loss in the large latent space so that all environments or solution PI is feasible stay close to each other. We generate triplet planning data of anchor similar and dissimilar planning problems SA, SS, and SD by sampling SA and SS from the same set of planning problems where solution PI is feasible and sample SD from other problem sets and assure PI is not feasible for SD. The planning problem encoder E theta is then trained to minimize a triplet loss by using the following equation. The representation space will contain data points from n different latent clusters corresponding to the n existing motion plans where CI is the cluster centered of each clusters. Now we present extensive experimental results by integrating our motion memory technique with three different motion planners in both a closed box and an open box manner to solve three different classes of motion planning problems. Furthermore, we present evidence demonstrating motion memory allows motion planners planning efficiency to improve with increasing past planning experiences and an application study to show the importance of the motion memory technique. The results show that motion memory can significantly reduce planning time compared to all three default baseline planners. 
with the only exception of using motion memory in a closed box manner with follow in the trap environment. In most cases, using the top 5 motion memory predictions are performs using the top 1 prediction. Comparing the first three columns, motion memory can achieve the most significant improvement for curves environments with gust and follow, while RRT enjoys the most motion memory benefits in the trap environments. Here, to demonstrate the necessity of the motion memory technique, we conduct an ablation study in which we do not use the environment generation or representation learning in motion memory but randomly pick a past plan to assess the motion planner. This figure shows that randomly picking one or five past plans to assist GUST in curves environments in an open box manner will increase the planning time. Finally, we show how the running time of the GUST closed box planner to solve planning problems in curves environments changes when having access to more available motion plans. With only 20 or 40 available past motion plans, motion memory underperforms the baseline GUST. But with increasing experiences, we see a significant reduction in runtime and improvement in planning efficiency. Thank you. If you are interested in our work, please check out our paper.